Why did you leave me? Happy birthday! Omar, what you doing here? I figured you'd have other plans. Really? Nor me and always, huh? You know what, Mara? I honestly want to be alone. I just want to spend my birthday in peace. Is that too much to ask? It's really dark in here. And you know what? You woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I mean, Cobra birthdays have always been your thing, and I don't know why this year you've been so blase about it. Come on, Cobra. You look like two, three. You're getting old, huh? <laughs> Mara, why are you here? I mean, seriously, I appreciate the gifts, but I don't want any company right now. Listen, I'm gonna be here whether you like it or not. And I truly love you. I didn't want you to spend your birthday alone. So please, stop asking me that. What are you doing? Getting us a drink. Hey. Hey. I thought I'd find you here. How was your run? <laughs> Ooh, my run was needed. I feel so much better. Mara, about last night, I, I'm sorry. Where'd you get that from? I found it in your room. 
I figured we could listen to Dad's album. I invite you into my house and this is what you do? Damn it, Mara, you had no fucking right to go through my things. Where is my respect? When will enough be enough for you? If I knew you would act like this, I would never... I'll just pack up everything and leave. But I'm glad I went through your things because I found these. Let me just say this and I'll leave. Whatever you're going through, you don't have to go through it alone. Concealing those emotions, not talking to anyone, living alone in misery. You're suffocating. Sorry it took me this long to see it. You're my right hand, my best friend, my person, Kobe. You're not the only one who lost him. But last night, I am so sorry. Come on, Koba. I said I was. Koba? Well, I remember the first time he brought us out here. <laughs> yeah. Dad always knew what to do in times like this. I remember when he brought us out here, he would say, whatever you have something to say, say hey, it. Because if you, you don't, don't you'll, you'll forever, forever have a sad tune, tune to sing. <laughs> I love you, Mara. I love you too, Kova. Today was good. It all worked out. Thanks for your help. Sure. Did anyone guess all the baby food flavors right? <laughs> Not my department. And the mom guilt game? Worst mommy moments. <laughs> they have no idea. What do you mean? Worst mommy moment. Oh. <laughs> Starting with the grandma to be, Marion. Yes. Worst mommy moment. Um. Mom, go. Come on, Mom, I can handle it. Okay. V uh, was just a, a few months old. She was a beaut. Perfect, silky curls, big smile. She loved to kick her little feet. She was absolutely perfect. But when she cry, she'd cry for hours. I tried everything to soothe her. 
but nothing lasted for long. I was driving home from the grocery store. B wouldn't stop crying, of course. And I was so upset, I drove the car into a tree. There was glass everywhere. Glass on her face, near her eyes, on my head, in everything. I did it on purpose. Never told anyone. But I did it on purpose. I was so angry and desperate. But when I saw her covered in glass, I snapped out of it. I knew I loved her. I picked her up and ran to the nearest house. I called my mom and she couldn't even tell it was me. My voice was so wobbly and strange. I was so ashamed. I was afraid her dad would leave me. I was afraid of everything. Thank God B was okay. Yes, my strong girls. You're both okay. Why are you telling me this? I thought you wanted to know. In every aspect of our life, we don't like to live like everyone else. Look, there you go. There you I go. messed up. Okay, there you go. I, I messed. I, Bella, here you go. Bella, here you go. I don't, I don't need it right now. I need to get my nails out. My favorite princess is Cinderella. Ever seen anybody skate with a dress? Yes, Bella. What if Bella skated? Why did she skate in a dress? I do not know. How long have you known Sierra and Rose for? About a year and a half. Yeah. Do you guys have nicknames for each other? Yeah. What's your nicknames? <laughs> Lola is Lola. What and is it? Lola. Lola. And then they call me Sarah. And then Bella is Bell. Bell. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them. Anti-racist. I hate them. Anti
Bye, princess. They they come they come around and then they spin around like this. I hate princesses. Basically, for us, to me, it's like it's like a little pixie wand versus a shotgun. If I could, I would grab like a rocket launcher or something, <laughs> oh go into the princess world and blow up all the castles. Uh, that would be pretty cool to me. You go to a skate park, it's all boys. You, you know, it's 99% boys. And just, you know, it's intimidating for, for little girls and it's probably hard. I love that they're girly and they're into boy, like boy sports, because it just proves that it's not a boy sport anymore. It can be girls, boys. I mean, the girls are in tutu skating and they are girly skaters. They're not really tomboys. And I think that's the best part about it. It's just showing you that anybody can do it. You really can. You don't have to be a boy. We kind of want our kids to all just intermingle in the whole culture, and, and it shouldn't be a guy and girl thing at all. It should be, you're a skater, you're a surfer, or something like that. It, it, it shouldn't be, you know, oh, they're a girl, they get special privileges, or they're a boy, they get special privileges, or something like that. Everybody earns equal share, you know, and, and you put in your time, and it's hard time sometimes. And that's what we expect of Rella. a plan with my buddy like hey bring your son we're gonna go skate let's meet up at the skate park and he rocked up and his little boys just rad little kid but he goes Gee, can she even skate this you know that's one of the incidences and and I'm all okay we'll see you know like and like just kind of bit my tongue like oh you'll see and then they went to this bowl to drop in and she walked right up dropped in did her run and he, he put his board up there and wouldn't do it for a little girl to show up a little boy was pretty sweet. When there's boys at the skate park, you can never tell what level they're at. Unless, unless they're really young, you can usually tell, yeah, they're not gonna be able to do that much. When girls are at the park, you really expect them to be really good, because all the girls yeah. that have seen it, like so-called like, yeah. YMCA and stuff, they, they give nothing but the best. I'm inspired, you know? I think you know, she's put a lot of work into it. She doesn't realize how much work she's put into it. And it's, someday she'll realize it and how really cool it is, you know, that she, she's taken her falls and she's worked hard, she's bounced back, and all of us have, and just kind of moving forward. It's pretty neat to see every, anybody grow. to be a professional skateboarder one day. I wish I was a power skater. I wanna grow up. You wanna be, you wanna be like a pro in the world? Yeah. I want to go to X Games.